Namaste. I notice in my classes how adults don't like to sit in this position. Now, this position, some people cannot sit on their heels, right? And they feel, oh, my knees, my ankles. And that's the whole reason, one of the reasons to do it, because it helps to release stiffness and tightness. Now, one of my other clips, I showed you some props, you know, lots of props around. You have blocks, you have blankets. So for those of you who are really tight, I have some people that really can't come down like this, I tell them to use a prop. Here's a block. This is the highest level of the block. So if you cannot sit all the way down, you want to start to coach the body. So you can sit like this and notice your back. Is it straight? Because that's the whole idea. It helps with your digestion. And then as you start to be able to sit down more. It has to come with practice. You can bring the block down to the next level. So this is the next level. Flat level. Then after a while, maybe you don't need the block. You can use a blanket. You can come down. All right, Virasana, the hero posture. I tell some people you really have to be a hero to sit in this posture. Ideally, the feet are separated. You're on top of your feet, so all the toes are on the floor. And bring the buttocks down to the floor, and ideally keeping the knees in. From a front view, the knees are together as you come down and bring the buttocks on the floor. This might be excruciating for some of you, so again, this is where the prop comes up. It's also suggested that you can separate the knees as you start to bring the buttocks down, and as you come more into the pose, you can bring your knees together. So if you have a knee injury, which I've had one, you know, it kind of hampers you, but it doesn't uh, rule it out. It doesn't mean you should stop practicing it. So. With props, you can use a blanket in front of the knees. You can also use towels as well. You can sit on the block and bring the knees on top of the blanket. You want to start to get used to this. This is going to help to release stiffness in the ankles and fallen arches. It helps with the digestion. So you can learn to sit like this. So I'm just showing you, using props can help you to do a pose that you feel that maybe you couldn't have done at all in the beginning. And what happens is that as you can constantly practice, it'll help you to have less pain so that you can come more into the posture. There's variations later on once that you can sit like that. Maybe you can bring one leg out. So you have the top of the foot on the floor. You have both sits bones on the floor. Let me move this out the way. So you can sit, inhale, and exhale. Stretch forward. I'm actually going to do a forward bend now in this position. You want to keep both sits bones even. Come forward if you can. Some of it you might need to use a belt. Or you can use your hand, lengthen the spine, and come forward. Now, again, for those of you who need props, I'll show on the other side. You're bringing the leg back. The, the um, side that gives you a hard time or that you can't come all the way down, you would use that prop under the buttocks cheek and then stretch the leg out. Or bring the block down. You know, you want to get comfortable. Make sure you have proper alignment, so I have that block underneath. And then see if you can come forward. Lengthen the spine, take a deep breath. Come forward. Just to show you how that looks on the other side. Sitting, the foot is on the side, the toes are on the floor. Stretching that leg out, lift the spine, inhale, exhale. See if you can come forward. 
keeping the knees together if you can come back up so explore with the props have fun and namaste